Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now I am going to read the question. A thin plastic rod is bent into a circular ring of radius r. It is uniformly charged with the charge density lambda. The magnitude of the electric field at its center is and the given options are option A lambda upon 2 epsilon naught r, option B 0, option C lambda upon 4 pi epsilon naught r and option D lambda upon epsilon naught r. So the problem is based on the concept of the charge density and the concept of uh, how to calculate the electric field. Now in this particular problem it is given that there is a thin rod. There is a thin rod. Suppose its uh, length is L. Suppose the length of the thin rod is L. Now this particular rod is bent in the form of a circle. This is bent into form of a circle. So this particular circumference is L. This circumference is L. Now the radius is given as R. Radius is given as capital R. So we know that the circumference is 2 pi R. So we can say that 2 pi R equals to L. Because L is the length of the rod. It is bent in the shape of the circle. It means that the circumference which is 2 pi R is equal to L. Now in this particular problem, it is asked about the electric field at the center of the circle. What is the electric field at the center of the circle? Now, to calculate the electric field at the center of the circle, we can see that if we take a small element here, we take a small element here, having a charge, suppose dq, having a charge, suppose dq, and suppose we want to calculate the electric field at the center O, then the electric field is away from this particular charge if it is assumed to be a positive charge and if it is assumed to be a negative charge then it is towards the particular segment small segment so if we take this particular segment for example as positive then at the exactly diametrically opposite end there is also a charge dq that creates an electric field which is a positive direction as well as equal in magnitude to this earlier field for example we call we call this field as e1 and this field as e2 e1 is the field due to this particular small segment dq and e2 is the electric field at the center due to this particular small segment dq so due to the equal magnitude whereas the opposite direction they two cancel out each other in a similar manner, if we take a small element here, then there must be a small charge element at the diametrically opposite end, which cancels the electric field at the center. In this way, we can say that there is a kind of a symmetry. There is a kind of a symmetry. Uh, so the resultant electric field at the center will become zero. The resultant electric field becomes zero. So we can say that the option B is correct here option B is correct here. Uh, it is not required in this particular problem but we must also know that the linear charge density is given by the charge upon the total length. In this particular case lambda is equal to Q, Q is the total charge. The value is not provided because it is not needed in this problem because there is a kind of a symmetry. So we can say that uh, suppose this is Q and this is L, L is equal to 2 pi R. So we can say that this is Q upon 2 pi R, lambda is equal to Q upon 2 pi R. So in this particular problem, it is not needed as such, but due to the symmetry of the problem, we can easily see that the answer is zero. The resultant electric field at the center is zero. So hope you understand the solution.